if you remember one of my recordings, I have to think of which one. You know what I can do. Here, I think it was one of my inscription models. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Yeah, see? Uh, this is a preview if the, this, probably this isn't recorded, but in this video I was talking about how this, my module look is, was in development. I finally made it done, at least as far as the stunt is good, so this is like a mere, uh, mere, yeah, mere test if it doesn't work then. It doesn't, you know? So, let me know you think which module I am, or which outfit we made, without letting you see this video. Because I want to release another six episodes of Inscription in one week, so... But, we're not here for a guessing game, but I want you to know, tell me which Miku I am. We're here because we like horror games. And so for our first... Uh, oh, that's my desktop screen. For our first, we're gonna see if this runs without. Oh, it doesn't run on a PC. Never mind, I'm prepared for this. It doesn't run on my PC. Apparently, it doesn't. Uh, and where's Discord? I have to get Discord. I'm prepared, eh? I'm prepared, I'm prepared. Welcome to MLR. It is a short game I made for a virtual pet jam. It's a description. If you have a bug, hello, if you have some private version, please try downloading Newman's HPG the version, which doesn't work, so. This is our first horror game. I'd like three good horror games. I guess I'm a cheat. I have not the original name, but I'm not my fault. It's the fault from the developer of this horror book game. <laughs> Anyways. This is ML, MLR. You just have to kill him. Can I do my intro? Can I do my intro? Your introduction to the game? Uh, you stay there, MLR. What was I about to say? What was I about to say? I completely forgot what I wanted to say. You know, in the end, I don't like, does not like that I don't like, but it doesn't look bad, my module, I mean. So... But I only crash your car. Why does it work? How does it work? I think it's been bugged. Oh. I oh, just finished. Huh. Yeah, if you make a working game then. Are you mocking me? Are you mocking me? I love how the developer plots with you. So I don't make it for this. <laughs> I love how the developer plots with this. Did you eat the cheese, MOR? We talked about this, huh? Oh, multiple times. Whatever you do, don't buy eat the cheese. Do you wanna buy the gun? You look, you look like a nice pet. If you can stay out of my fridge, we can have a dinner. We can have a nice conversation, eh? I mean, why should I kill the rat? But I wanted to say, like, I found three, three uh, scary games this morning. Oh yeah, yesterday morning because it's the next day. It's like quarter past one in the morning. And one of the games looked really, really fun to do. But when I wanted to download them in, in advance to the, uh, in a minute, that game was gone. 
So I, I already had like three replacements in case of like pet frame length or stuff. So I'm assuming you have to buy the gun. That works. Why did developers the game still? It's nice to meet you, but weird. <laughs> you know, I've played a lot. I've seen my fair share of horror games, and I've seen my fair share of stuff that don't work, stuff that's bugged. But I, this can be, this can be a great horror game, but I love just. Plus, po plus point, plus point if you're the developer watching this. I love how you like make the game so it's like mocking with itself. That's so lovely. Like, why is the developer so fucking, fucking lazy of this game? Why does it work? Uh, like, I didn't, like in the mini game, like, yeah. And then they really make an end for this mini game, you know? Like, you keep driving, you know? You just could click away, you know? I love that stuff. But that's this MOR, it's just a short horror game. If you wanna play it for yourself, links in the description or show the developer some love. I will see you in a few in a few seconds. For the stream for a few minutes. For the next game. Peace. Uh yeah, I know a lot of horror games. Uh website horror games this this episode, but again. Welcome to Test 9. I'm not gonna play in the dark otherwise my mom will freak out. Does it freak out? Does the track still good? Does the track still good? Oh, doesn't track. <laughs> See, does the track good? So I can. Pl oh, can he? Oh, I can perhaps play in the dark. Uh, but test nine is like an exceptional emotional test. Welcome to test. Oh, wait, that explains. Uh, welcome to test nine. Your emotional response examination. The purpose of this examination is to test your emotional response to various events and scenarios. We will start with some basic questions. As a means of calibrating the reminder of the examination. Relax and answer all the questions to the best of your ability. Are you ready for the test? Answer along just fine. Oh, from home. Question 1. Please state the reaction you would have to the event of you waking up before your alarm goes off. Like, like do we talk about like, a tr I mean if you have like your alarm at 6 a.m. And you wake up at like 3 a.m. Or do you wake up like 5 minutes before your alarm? Because, honest, I'm off the fall on the light waking up 5 minutes before my alarm. It's not, it's not like, it's of course annoying, but it's more the light that you, apparently you get enough sleep, so. I will fill in the light. I like waking up for 5 minutes before my alarm. Not however, if it's like uh, 3 a.m. in the morning, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I've been compliance this time that went went to bed like eleven or ten and woke up at like two AM in the morning. Warm dehydrated or something. Which reminds me. Hydrate guys, hydrate. Please state the reaction you would have to your first cup of morning. Always satisfaction when you get that first cup of beans. Please say the reaction you would have to looking out at a field of flowers and grassy hills. I know it's just a test, but how would how? Yeah, I'm not even going to ask questions, but like, how would a uh, field? Well, let me calibrate. Wait, my. Let me calibrate. But how would uh like how uh explain to me how would you be annoyed by a field of flowers and a grassy, a grassy hill? Like for me it's a little bit I think more nostalgic because uh my grandmother used to live uh, near a grass hill and a grass field, so no, not near a field of flowers, but comes close to it, so. Question number four. Please say the reaction you would give have to see a child fall over and scrap their knee. 
Okay. If you have either answered this or this, you're a psy uh, psycho. Psycho. A psycho. A maniac. No one would. You know what would like laugh at a child or be amused of a child who falls off and like hurts his ankle or scrap their knee and make a wound. You know, I, I get that it's funny when like a group of kids on a bike slide out because it's cold. I laugh, I would laugh about that too, but not about this. So I'll be concerned. Question number five. Please say the reaction you would have to dropping your brand new phone and cracking a screen beyond repair. I'll be annoyed. Question. Question. Read the reaction. Question six. Question six. Please say the reaction you would have to package delivered months ago, finally get delivered only to. Who's messing the uh, crack? Crack, are you messing again with the. No, you're messing with the test? Oh. I thought he would. Please say the reaction would have to package your order months ago, finding it delivered only to realize for your order was exactly what you wanted. Oh, uh, for someone who ordered a lot of Wish, yeah, I've ordered stuff on Wish. I've also ordered a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I was annoyed when they were fake. Oh, mail. Uh, indifference, outrage, content, violence. What did you mean with indifferent? Indifferent. Lack of interest. Concern or sympathy. And is it contempt in... Contempt? No, I won't be... I won't... I won't... I won't be satisfied with it. I won't, won't worry about it, like... Probably mainly in the back costs you more, so... Question number seven. Please state the reaction you would give. After getting an email from a prestigious university stating that they reject your pl application. <laughs> Jokes on you, you think I'm smart. I mean, I'm, I'm making YouTube content. Not saying that every YouTuber is not smart, but I mean... If I, if I uh, would pass my HBO semester once... For once, so... I would be frustrated. Almost there. Only a couple more calibration questions. So any calibration? Question A. Please state the reaction would have to thunder in the distance. I won't care. I'm gonna be honest. I won't care at all. Like I heard some thunderstorms from time to time. Be like, what's thundering? And I'm be going on. Please state the reaction would have to get in home after a long day's work and setting down to your favorite TV show. Hi. I, I can't understand a bit of it, but how do you feel guilt? Like, it's like something you left at work to do? You know what I feel about my, my uh, module now that I look at it? Racing Miku 2020 is uh, supposed to be of like a little deck where my leg is. But it feels like I'm wearing underwear now. Just underwear and that goes... Yeah. Uh, for relaxation. Great job! Now the examination will provide questions and scenarios that will be a little more intense than the previous questions and may invoke a more emotional response. You may opt out at any time during this next question if they become too intense for you. I'm um, no pussy! Question 1. Please state the reaction you would have to getting into a really severe car accident. Jokes for you, you think I will drive? I have no car license, so... Yeah, but the thing here is... Do I get injured? Do the other person get injured? I would think I'd be more out of shock, so I was like, I'm either be afraid of the other driver. Question two, please state the reaction you would have if you find your femur has been snapped completely in half. A femur? Do you mean your wife? 
Your leg? The femur is from the leg is the largest and biggest of stomach bones in human limb but from So how about what opt out if that that thing is completely snapped in half? Do I still live then? Uh hello? Questions? So, assuming I would lay in bed, if I wake up, huh? Uh, hello? Hello? I'm, 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 I'm trying to make an, uh... Hello? Questions? I don't want to refresh the page. Oh, crashed. Ready? Uh, okay, let's not, uh, let's not, uh, let's not hope that. But assuming I would lay in bed, I wouldn't, like, I would be, like, probably first freaked out that my black uh, hurts. But, I mean, at that point, I'd be like, I can walk, probably, so. Is the JavaScript not loading? Uh, is the page short? Uh, inspect. Uh, uh, this. Yeah, I think I went to play in the dark. Full experience. I want to get back to my question. You would have to have a friend of you walking in before your alarm. Oh, it's the same question, so I feel the light. Satisfaction, because coffee is life. You know, IT person, eh? You know how it goes. Amico! What do you mean? No IT per- Yeah, I'm an IT person. You mean how important coffee is to me, eh? Call me crazy. I'm crazy. I know, yeah. Women. <laughs> I can't say that, no. Mika sometimes is a bit annoyed. Sometimes from time to time. And sweetie! She's looking at me like... Fuck off. No. She's like looking at me like, fuck off, Juju. It's like this video recording. I'm just taking a test. I'm bored. Because I cursed. Didn't work. So. I think it broke. I think. Uh. Please say the reaction of have to get an email from prestigious university saying that they reject your application. Oh, sorry, only a couple more questions. Yeah, 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 I know. You know that you're, I think I'm at a point where I record too much. Like, I have free time now. Uh, because... Yeah, school. I'm done with school, my... I've done my grade, um, my lessons I give. Uh, I still have internship like for two more weeks. But I have Monday and Friday off because there are no lessons anymore. And, uh, yeah, so I've been recording a lot more. And since the Corona lockdown was there, I had nothing to do unless Thursday, Thursday, Tuesday, so and with vacation behind my back. I think I'm at a point where I like a break, I need a break from recording. Is this the same one? Yeah, getting into a car accident. Okay. Say common thread worked out with the solder drive. Please say the reaction you would have. If you find your femur has been snapped completely in half. Say common call emergency service. Please say the reaction you would have if you were walking along the road and suddenly a violent and demolish thunderstorm formed overhead. I would probably, I would probably, I'll be honest, I won't care, but it depends, it's like for the whole road and how long do I have to walk and please say the reaction you would have to falling out of the window that's in your room right now. 
Uh, I'm currently outside my house. I don't know. Please say the reaction would have if you were lost and alone in the middle of the night and you see a house in the distance. Unsure if the inhabitants are still awake or not. This gives me rillings. It feels me unsettling. The insurance you know, members are still awake or not? I mean, if they are awake, they probably will light in the house, so. Time <laughs> to break in the house. I can house see the wake up. Like, the question for gives me really, like, I have a window in my room, and if I jump out of it, or fall out of it, it will be, like, too high. So, I will be dead. This situation would have you find the corpse on the side of the road mangled and recognized with a bloody machete taken out of it. Stop and take the body, you know. <laughs> hey, you be like, you find a body with a machete and be like, I'm gonna take that home. I will call the emergency service. Q. Uh, I don't know if it broke. I don't know if it broke. It's not doing it anything. Unless I can right click on it. You know, I know this is the classic, you know, horror trick, catch your attention and they will jump scare you, but... I think it's over? You know what? I think it's over. We've done the test two times. Two times it's the same questions, uh, it's, it's the same set of questions. But I think one thing is well done for a text-based web game. I think that it makes, you know, and the first questions were like, I don't know, warm stuff. And then suddenly they gave really dark, dark questions. And I think, I think like, I didn't feel it until question four in like the main set of questions, but that like, it feels, it makes you feel unsettling. Like, how do you know I have a room in my room, in my eyes? Like a room in my, in my, like a window in my room. How do you know? Like that. That's like those little questions. Probably some some others will be unsettling by other ones. So that that that, have the, that is something that they own really well. I think he could add a little bit more horror, like he did in the first ten questions for calibration with the sixth. Do more of those. I think you will get the user. But overall good horror game if you want to play it for yourself. Link is in the description. We're going up to the final game. I am so prepared this time. Huh? <laughs> I would like open up the uh, first third game I had in mind, like a maze, um, cave exploration game. It was an Unreal Engine game. And guess what? Unreal Engine game lagged. Yeah, the frame dropped. I don't know what I have, but something with me and my PC and my laptop and Unreal Engine games are not coming well together. And Dark Deception also. So, I had of course three extra games like you saw Tus9 was also one game that uh, was a backup game for in case that. Well, in case I didn't know that uh, the RPG uh, horror game that I was planning was like gone, I was like, I would already download them. But welcome to Farwatch. Farwatch takes place in a slender stealth horror game. An asylum has been abandoned after doing some straightful, thoughtful research experiments. The papers are still scattered around the place, and it's our job to collect them. Should we just try it on normal for first? So, we're basically going to an asylum. Let's search for 14 documents.
And I don't even know what my enemy is. Of course, I'm not gonna know. I have a splinting bar. And a document. Did I hear something? Hello? I heard someone opening doors. Here's someone opening doors. Oh, hello! Hi! I'm not here. Hey, you were the one I'm meeting. Are you still upstairs? Gonna chase me. No paper around here. Don't think so. Is this still around the corner? Oh! Bye! I'm gonna leave now. Have fun! Oh, I have to turn on something. Oh. Ah. Uh. Guess it's in the back. Yeah, come get me then, eh? Oh, 50. Why are you going in that room? That room is closed. Huh. Your padding is a, like a little bit weird. Is your paper? Power has been restored successfully. Safe mode has been turned on. Can I not go back? Oh, you're back. Where are you? <laughs> this is that's full. Is he opening doors? Is he opening them? It's that guy downstairs. I'm expecting a jump scare from from the police toilet. What is that hole? Would it be like a document in a toilet? It would be funny. Like, I've already had five papers, but... I know he's upstairs. So I have to go upstairs now. Hmm. Go 
Oh, the papers. Hello. Oh, he saw me. Hide. Can I hide? Or does he... Que tira ahora todas. You know that meme? Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. No. Oh, look. I shed out a paper. Oh. Shed out a paper. That's not the scary at all. I'm dead now. Of course I have to restart over again. So you can't flash it or did I miss flash it? There's a paper right around here or not? No. I still love it that I shed out the paper. <laughs> Uh, here was a paper, right? Oh, they're not in the same spot. Oh. Well, that is great. Here was a paper, right, last time. Huh. There was a paper, I think. Oh! Oh, you're on the bottom floor. Oh. Hi. I'm going upstairs. Go another way around or <laughs> Is he upstairs again? Is, is it like each room has an... Hello? Is he behind that thing? He's behind that thing, right? Oh! Hi! And goodbye, sir! Wait, where did he... Oh! Where did he pull it to go to the kitchen? Did I go to the kitchen? Oh! Ah! 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 Jeez! <laughs> Jeez! Oh! Oh! Did he go to the kitchen? No! No! You go to the kitchen. Question answer, did you? Question answer, did you go to the kitchen? You didn't go to the kitchen. Where is he? I don't know where he is, so... There must be a table, there must be paper around here somewhere, right? below me. Oh, I thought there was a basement to go. No, 
paper around here. It's weird. I expected at least one to be here. Huh. Tubes. Also not under the showers. So I assume the rest is on the down floor. Or did I miss someone? Something. I don't even know where our beloved monster is. But who cares? You can go to hell. If uh, Cact was wants to play, Cact can go to hell. So the one on the toilets again. No one on those toilets. Oh, he's over there. Yeah, that's all to go to. Hi. Okay, go away. Oh. I'm dead. God damn it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, if you want to play this game for yourself, link is in the description, I have to say. It's a really good game. Yeah, you don't think about like Sonic games, you don't usually see them often anymore. But, yeah, it gives you, I have to admit, like, after you know him, it's like not the scary if he jump scares you, but it is that feeling. The feeling of like, and, and settling, you don't, you keep. Like I keep, if you just notice, I was like, constant, at each moment, constant, continuously watching where he was, at my gap, and even when he was like, did he went to the kitchen, like, <laughs> and he jumped in my face, and like, okay. But, yeah, I couldn't beat it, in my time period, so maybe you could try to beat it. Link is in the description down below. In the meantime, if you like what you saw, leave a comment down below, subscribe. That helps me out, it helps the algorithm out, and then blah 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 blah, blah YouTube stuff. So just if you like my videos, just give a thumbs up if you like them, and you know I I do more of these types of content, so you can ring the bell every Friday around 7 p.m. or between 7 and 9 p.m. new video. So if you want that, in the meantime, a video above me should appear. Uh, a video has above me has appeared from my channel to you. It's based on what you watch a lot. Can predict as random per user. What I can predict, however, is the video playlist to the left. So three scary gameplays. If you watch watch any of the other episodes, I highly recommend you do. Especially the last one was a good one. Uh, below that is a less play place. If you're new to my channel, I'm Atsu Juju. I often do video content of all types of stuff. You can find that in that playlist. I also stream every Wednesday and Saturday around 7 p.m. Uh, on uh, uh, 7 p.m. CET or CEST, depending on where you watch this. Gen uh, Twitch name is the same as my channel name, so don't worry about that, you'll find me. Uh, I'll also have Miku content on the channel, if you case you're wondering coming from that, because you see like a Miku streaming. Yep, I know, I, I know you guys, I know you want to know. Uh, for that, you have to go to my channel button to the left, search around, you'll find it, and also find the other stuff, stuff you want to want to find. With that, I'm gonna say have a wonderful day, uh, stay safe. And don't go to this assignment until our pets cross again.